Welcome back to Endangered Species Spotlight. This week we are talking about the South Andean deer. This is the South Andean deer. It is a type of kind of smaller deer species native to areas in Chile and Argentina. Now it used to be quite abundant, but the population has decreased in recent times over 99% and now the remaining population is between 1,000 and 1,500 individuals. They typically prefer colder and higher elevations and can be found across the mountains and valleys of some areas in the Andes. Now there's quite a few different threats facing this deer, largely habitat loss and fragmentation, with what remaining habitat that has not been destroyed is few and far between so the populations in the different habitats can't easily cross over to each other. Additionally, they are also being outcompeted by the invasive red deer that is not native to the area, especially in Chile and Argentina. Additionally, they're also poached or hunted for food and at risk from things like cars and highways, as well as wild dogs that have been introduced into the area. As for conservation efforts, they are considered to be endangered and in some areas are protected. Additionally, small parts of the population occur in already protected areas, especially in Chile where they are found in national parks where it is illegal to hunt or harm them as well as harm the area itself. However, the majority of the population does not occur within a protected area, so a lot of the conservation efforts are focused on establishing more protected areas around places that the deer live in. There's not really any captive breeding programs established for the South Andean deer. However, within certain protected areas, there is a semi-captive population, meaning that they are wild deer, but they are relatively contained within a specific area. And so by studying and protecting those semi-captive populations, hopefully a slightly better captive breeding program will be established, and at the very least, we learn more about the deer and how to protect them better.